Woo, look at here. Oh, it's a powerful thing. Light colored metal. Come here. Come here. Pretty thing. All right. Don't, don't, don't get me wet. Oh boy, look at here. Woo! That, that light color. Then in that good gracious look right there. It's light color because you've been in that green water. This water's got a good bloom on it. Whew. Woo! Boy! I'm gonna tell you right now. That's neat. That is really neat. All right, moving along. You know, bass, without question, are the perfect predator, and they rely heavily on their keen senses for survival. Naturally, in a clear water environment, they depend mostly on sight. However, in a murky to low light situation, their number one sense is sound. The next sense priority is that of smell. Once the sound is detected, a scent trail will make the prey much easier to locate and catch. And this is why it's always best to select lures that produce good vibration and to add an odor attractant to them when fishing in these type conditions. Oh, you little rascal, you. You talking about a strong fish? Get around over here, boy. <laughs> Come here, buddy. You hit it like you weighed six pounds. Bait was falling, he just went, funk, another little fatty. Ain't seen very far in that old green water. Okay, tell you what, let's take a look at an illustration that'll show you what our lure is actually doing on the retreat. Once the lure hits the bottom, all I do is lift it up with my rod tip, moving it two to three feet and letting it flutter back to the bottom and then repeat this until I've worked the lure all the way back to the boat or covered the distance to the bottom I want to fish. Now on the up sweep, I'm only raising the lure 15 to 20 inches and most of the strikes are occurring as the lure drops back or in other words, as the lure falls. Once you get into the rhythm of picking it up and dropping it back down, you'll begin to realize when you get a strike, even if you don't feel it. Because many times, the only way you'll know a bass is taking your spinnerbait is when you don't feel the blades turning. When this happens, I think you'll know what to do. That is, set the hook. <laughs> On my next spinnerbait tip, I'll talk about sound and the different ways a bass uses their hearing to locate your lures. So I hope you'll be here. Until then, catch one for me.